Good evening. Thank you for joining. Good evening, teacher. It's great to have you here, Jocelyn Gabriela and Eliseo Flores. Thank you so much for being very responsible. Okay, today is Tuesday and only two more days. But remember that you need to complete by Friday another set of exercises, okay? So that's why I encourage you to continue working in the platform. El día viernes tiene que haber concluido, ¿verdad? Determinada cantidad de ejercicios en la plataforma, por lo cual les invito y les animo a que continúen trabajando, ¿sí? Okay, so today, yeah, because I need tomorrow and let's see Henry is joining. Okay, only tomorrow and Thursday. This week, we are not going to work on Friday. Esta semana no vamos a trabajar en, en viernes como la semana anterior, ¿verdad? Uh, Henry is really welcome to the, to the class two, the same as Eliseo and Jocelyn. Okay, we are going to get started. Very happy, Miss Jocelyn Gabriela. She's at work, but she works very happy, very happily, yes. Okay, thank you, Gabby. And uh, let's get started. Thank you for activating your cameras. And let's see, uh, class, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember we practiced yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdan que fue lo que practicamos ayer? About adjectives. And pronunciation and intonation, yes? La pronunciación yes. y la entonación de las palabras cuando dirigimos, nos dirigimos hacia algo, ¿sí? Y recuerden que cuando ya vamos a mencionar el nombre de la persona, the intonation falls, ¿ok? La entonación baja, ¿yes? Ok, for yes. example, if I say, uh, you are really happy, Jocelyn Gabriela, right? Or, you are really happy, comma, Jocelyn Gabriela. Yes, that is what we were doing yesterday. And if I say, hey, why are you so happy, Gaby? Yes, ahí también en una pregunta, la entonación tiende a bajar casi al final cuando nos vamos directo hacia quien nos estamos dirigiendo. Um, Henry comentaba que tiene un poquito de problemas con el audio, pero está conectado. Esperemos que más tarde soluciones, ¿verdad? Esos problemas con el audio. And what else did you do yesterday? ¿Qué más hicieron ayer? ¿Te recuerdan? Veamos. Trabajamos con algunos adjetivos, sí. Pero, ¿qué hicieron con esos adjetivos? Aparte de estarlos leyendo. Hicimos oraciones. Ok, very well. You built sentences. Ustedes construyeron algunas oraciones. Ajá, uh -huh, related to the topic, relacionadas al tema, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Y algunos de um, esos adjetivos los compartí ayer, si se recuerdan, vía WhatsApp. Por lo tanto, están ahí en el chat de la clase, ¿sí? Y este fue el tema de ayer, se said. In case that you missed it, ¿ok? Like, ¿ok? In case that you missed it. The, the objective for yesterday was this. In this section, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound more natural when speaking. That's why you were practicing yesterday speaking a lot, because the idea is that when you speak English, you sound natural, yeah? Like when you speak in Spanish. And then, okay. This was the topic, listening to intonation. And some suggested adjectives that I provided you with were astonishing, boring, incredible, unbelievable, pretty, beautiful, amazing, brave, disgusting, annoying, frustrating, interesting, okay? Ustedes construyeron oraciones siguiendo el patrón que vimos en la plataforma y lo que les expliqué 
y los estaban pronunciando, ¿sí o no? Ahora bien, había algo como por ejemplo boring, alguien, y lo voy a escribir para que, porque ese ejemplo está súper, súper bien para que establezcamos la diferencia. Uh, one of you wrote yesterday. My, my daughter is boring, for example, Henry. This is a comment that you make to Henry. My daughter is boring. No. One situation is boring. Estos adjetivos terminan en ing para describir que una persona está aburrida porque aquí usted dice que su hija es aburrida, pero ella no es aburrida, está aburrida, ¿sí? En ese momento. Entonces, lo que hacemos es que el, hay dos tipos de adjetivos. El adjetivo que usamos en este caso es bored. My daughter is bored. Henry. My daughter is bored. Henry. Right. Entonces, hay algunos adjetivos con ing que no, lo, no los vamos a utilizar para describir cómo una persona es o está. Sí. Pero sí podemos decir, por ejemplo, annoying. ¿sí? Alguna situación. Ok. Entonces, esto se los tenía que aclarar. Y como repaso general, vamos a ver quién de ustedes le gustaría leer las oraciones que construyeron ayer en equipos. Hello, Victor. Welcome. Ok, one volunteer to read the sentences that you built yesterday. One or two or three sentences to recall para recordar lo que trabajaron ayer. Only one volunteer. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't feel shy if you mispronounce a word. No, that is not the idea. The idea is to correct and to improve. La idea es corregirnos e ir mejorando cada día, ¿sí? Muy bien. One volunteer. Yo no, yo no tengo mi cuaderno, pero hoy se me andaba ocurriendo una en la, en la tarde. Okay. Tell me, ah, because you are at work, yes. Uh, my brother is very handsome teacher. Excellent. Oh, wow, yes, he is <laughs> very, very good looking. Okay, this is another, another, uh, another oh. expression that you may say. Okay, very well, excellent, great, amazing. Somebody else who remembers another sentence? Very well done, Jocelyn. ¿Alguien más que recuerde alguna otra oración? De las que construyeron ayer. Don't let me down. Please don't make me cry. Abel, Dennis. Hello, teacher. Hello. Do you remember Good one? Night. Okay. One or uh, two. Huh? She looked beautiful. Uh, Catherine. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. She looks beautiful. Catherine, yeah, very well. And now here, I'm going to share with you this, guys. Look at this. Bueno, eso fue el repaso, ¿verdad? The feedback de lo que estamos, Jeremy is joining right now. Continuamos. Okay, this is part of the feedback. Okay, I need to go over the next one. This is for our session number six. And the objective is the same because we continue with the same practice, okay? So I need one of you to practice reading the objective for today's session in English. One volunteer, please. Un voluntario que me quiera ayudar a leer en inglés el objective. Hello. Okay, please. Objective. In the station, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. Thank you so much, Miss. I really appreciate that. Okay. And the topic is pronunciation, intonation with direct address, as your classmate read. Okay, very well. This topic has been taken from the objective, it is the heart the center, okay, our goal. 
That is why I insist that you need to read. Don't feel shy if you make a mistake, okay? That is the way we learn. No deben sentir temor, vergüenza, si se equivocan a la hora de pronunciar algo. Nadie es perfecto, no es nuestro idioma oficial y aún en español la gente comete errores cuando es su idioma uh, original, ¿verdad? Igual les pasa a los native speakers in English. Don't think that they never make mistakes when pronouncing or reading. And here we go. If I say, um, how are you? And then maybe you say, I'm really great teacher. Or if Henry asks you, hey, uh, Jeremy, how are you? I'm really great. Henry, I'm really great, Henry. Remember here we write the comma because it is like a pause, a little pause. Es una pequeña pausa la que hacemos antes de mencionar el nombre de la persona. But if I say, Claudia, how do you feel? And the possible answer is, I feel really sick. Pero no va a decir solamente I feel really sick de acuerdo a lo que estuvimos practicando ayer. ¿Se recuerdan? You say I feel really sick, teacher. Yeah. So I have here these questions. But you are going to answer following the pattern that we practiced yesterday with. Tengo este set de preguntas para que ustedes las contesten con su realidad pero utilizando el modelo con el que trabajamos ayer, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Cómo sería el modelo que trabajamos ayer? Uh -huh. Ah, I, I am really bla bla y menciona el nombre de quien le pregunta. Ok, I feel really y menciona, ¿verdad? O solamente, pero hace una pequeña pausa y Menciona el nombre de la persona a quien le está contestando usted, que es quien le preguntó. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, great. So, this is, uh, in yellow, I wrote an example. And here, I wrote the example, but I didn't complete the name. Why? Because you are going to write or mention the name of the person who is asking you. Porque acá vamos a contestar con el nombre de la persona que nos pregunta. ¿Sí? Ok. So I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. Is that okay? Se lo comparto via WhatsApp. For your okay, convenience. Teacher. Thank you. And thank you for joining. Ok. So here, let me see. This is the one, okay. And now, okay. Okay, class, you have it there. And now it's time to practice. Remember to build the answers following the pattern that we used yesterday. Vamos a construir las respuestas tomando como base las estructuras de las oraciones que trabajamos ayer y que hemos estado practicando al inicio de la clase. Voy a permitirles que compartan pantalla en caso que alguien lo quiera compartir. ¿De acuerdo? And we're going to move to the breakout rooms. So here we go. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups and begin with the activity. Hello, Eduardo. Nice to see you. Long time no seeing you. Tanto tiempo sin verlo. Really welcome that you're here, Eduardo. Eduardo, 
eh, lo voy a asignar al equipo número dos. ¿Me escucha, Eduard? Eduardo, ¿me escucha? Sí. Bien, entonces lo voy a asignar al equipo número dos vía WhatsApp. Les compartí un set de preguntas, ¿sí? Que ustedes se van a hacer en los equipos y van a contestar, pero siguiendo el modelo de las respuestas con las oraciones que trabajamos ayer, ¿sí? Estuvo ayer en clase, Eduardo. Mm -hmm. Ok, great. So no problem. I'm going to send you the invitation to join group number two. Ok, ahí la tienes. ¿Sí visualiza la invitación? Ok. Vamos a leerles todas, todas igual y solo vamos a poner un nombre de último. Ah, ok, entonces... El ¿qué? nombre de la persona a quien pregunta. Correcto, mm, así okay. es, pero recuerden que ahí es con la, con la realidad de cada quien, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, porque, how do you feel? Uh, I feel really tired, I feel really anxious, or I feel um, sleepy, I feel uh, sick. Que la idea es utilizar diferentes adjetivos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh, Edward is going to work with you, Eliseo, Jocelyn, Gabriela, and Jeremy. Ok. Ok. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. Here you are, Henry, Dennis, Abel, and Claudia. Yes. Uh, are the instructions clear? ¿Están claras las instrucciones? Sí. Only practice. Ajá, uh -huh, practicing as much as possible, ¿ok? Ok. Intonation, yes. Uh, take turns asking and answering the questions. Tomen turno para preguntar y responder. Recuerden que cuando usted... Uh, Dennis, ask me a question, please. Denis, hágame una pregunta, por favor. Una de las que les compartí. Espérame, teacher, que me salió la... Vaya, yo se la... Vaya, ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Eh, how do you think? How do you... How do you feel? O oh, sí. Think, think. cantar. Ah, no, sí. No, tenemos sing, que es cantar. Ah, sí, sí, sí perdón, es, es, es sing. Ajá, ajá. Y yo pensé que era enfermo, pero no es, es No, sing. es que él, en la segunda probablemente usted se confundió con el adjetivo amarillo que está ahí. Cuando preguntan, how do you feel? I feel really sick, me siento realmente enferma. Entonces, ah, how do you sing? How do you sing? <laughs> how do you sing? ¿Cómo cantas? Mm. In my case, in my opinion, I, I sing really, really bad uh, tennis. Okay, or really? Abel. Yeah, I no. sing really, really, yeah. Never, I never, never the practice. No, <laughs> no, the thing is that that is a talent that you are born because with. Es un talento con el que se nace. <laughs> Uh, 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 the, uh -huh. thing, the thing is easy. Really? For me. Oh, For me. okay, excellent. So when you ask okay. class to Dennis, he's going to speak. I sing really well. Probably he's going to answer, yes? Okay, continue with the practice because it is the time for you to practice. Who's going to start asking? ¿Quién va a iniciar preguntando, chicos? Ok, Claudia. Bueno. Claudia. Hello. Hello. Ok, begin asking questions. Asking the questions to one of these boys. En orden. Bueno, como se las tiene que preguntar todas, ¿verdad? A alguien y, y luego alguien se las pregunta a usted y luego Abel le pregunta a alguien más y alguien más le pregunta a Abel. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, sure. Para, para ver how do you cook eh, I am cool I am cool my favorite is 
Babes are humble, boring. Game. No, 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 Abel. Mm. She asked you, how do you cook? Como cocinas? Cook. I cook. Really? Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Really. Uh, I really I... cook. Um, more men, teacher. Uh, regular, more or less. <laughs> or, uh, you may, yeah. or you may say, mm, I, I really cook very well or i okay. i cook delicious hey, claudia okay. claudia don't don't forget to mention the name of the person at the end who asked you the question recuerden no olvidar mencionar el nombre de la persona quien les hizo la pregunta sí okay okay continue with the practice Claudia, continue. Para, para Dennis. With my family here, me. Okay, and you, Eduardo, how do you sing? I am not saying. No, but listen, how do you sing? Como cantas? I sing well. If you ask me, how do you sing? I sing really bad because that is my reality, yeah? If Eliseo asks me, teacher, how do you sing? I sing bad, Eliseo, yes? Recuerden okay. mencionar el nombre de la persona quien okay. les hace la pregunta, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, continue, please. Continue, por favor. Okay, next question. How do you drive, uh, Jocelyn? How do you drive? How do you drive, Jocelyn? I am drive very, very bad for very wrong, Jeremias. Very bad. Okay, Jeremy. Very, very well. Okay, uh, Eliseo, how do you sing? How do you drive? Well, I think I drive uh, very fast, Jeremy. Okay, and you, Eduardo, how do you drive? I drive my motorcycle so so. Okay. And you, Jeremy? Okay. How do you drive? I, I drive so bad. I cannot drive. <laughs> okay. Okay, I cannot drive, uh, Eliseo. Uh, next question. Uh, how do you dance, Eduardo? I dance very well. Okay, and you, Yosari, how do you dance? I am dance very well, Jeremia. And you, Eliseo, how do you dance? Well, uh, I try to dance very well, Jeremia. Okay. And you, Hermes, how, how do you dance? Uh, I dance, I cannot dance, Eliseo. Okay. Uh, next question. No me recuerdo en cuál vamos. How do you swing, Hermes? Okay. I. I swing so very, very good because no me ahogado. I can, I can, I can swim very good, Eliseo. Very well. Very well. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. very well. How do you swing, Eduardo? Um, uh, I don't know. I swim bad. 
Okay. How do you swim, Jocelyn? Uh, well, I not swim, Eliseo. Okay. I swim bad because it means that nothing, okay? I swim bad. Remember, the idea is that you use an adjective. An adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Eliseo, how do you how do you swim? I swing slow. Okay. Okay. Next question. How do you speak English, Jocelyn? I am um, speak English, but Jeremias. No. <laughs> <laughs> English is the way. Okay. <laughs> Jocelyn, just Jocelyn, listen. When we when we answer that question, you say I speak. We don't say I am speak because the verb is a speak, not to be. Porque el verbo es speak, no es el verbo to be. De acuerdo. Entonces okay. sería I speak acá. Fíjense bien en los ejemplos. En el primero, I am really great. Hemos utilizado am porque el verbo principal es el verbo to be, are. How are you? Cuando contesto con I, I am, ¿sí? Pero en los demás ya no aparece el verbo to be, por lo tanto utilizamos el verbo con el que nos preguntan, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, okay. continue, please. Ok, and you, Elisa, how do you speak English? I speak English. Amazing. Eduardo, how do you speak English? I want to, I want to be, uh, I want to be better, uh, but, uh, no sé, no sé qué decir. <laughs> I speak English well. I, I speak English well, Eliseo. Hablo bien, but I would like to speak better. Yes, porque hablo bien, pero me gustaría hablar mejor. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, okay continue. Okay. Jeremías, how do you speak English? Okay, I try to speak very well. And this moment is difficult. Yeah. Because uh, you know, there is a there is a time every day home every day home, work. No uh, no hay tiempo the practice. Okay. I practice in my work. Ah. Eh, and you, my friend. Cuando estamos en la máquina. <laughs> yes. Ahí, ahí llego. Okay. Ah, es, 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 es good practice. It's good eh, practice. Every did, day practice, practice. Every day practice. Sí. Eh, I, I am practice with my brother. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Your brother speak English. He speaks English. He's, oh, really? he's, he's, he's ex, ex, excellent in speaking English. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah. is, uh, is, uh, he is a work in Telus. No, he is mm. work in Telus. In Telus. Really? Call center. Yeah. Very good. Uh, yes. Excellent. I speak English, your brother. This is my, my, no sé cómo se dice, sueño. Dream. 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 This, is, this is, is my dream. This is my dream to work this as, my, as this tell us. I, I work oh. at Telus. To, I to work, work Telus. to, this is my dream to work at Telus. To work okay. at Telus. Okay. Okay. This is my dream. 
Because uh, I am studying English. Okay. Very good, Dennis. Okay. No sé si alguien más va a hacer otra pregunta. Other, other, other thing. Another question. Si no te pregunto otra. Dale, dale. How do you swim? Eh, no, really. <laughs> I, I know, sí. Really? I don't know. So you no. say, I, I swim bad. Yeah, I swim bad. I... Nada mal. I swim bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's In other words, it's zero. Me. Okay. No, it is no difficult practice. for you to swim. Oh, okay. Yeah, because... is... mm -hmm. I am the beach. I am going, going to the beach. Mm -hmm. No, no, no more. No, no mucho, como sería. You don't go to the beach. I don't go to the beach uh, uh, so frequently. No frequently. Mm -hmm. No, it's frequently. I, I don't me. go to the beach so frequently, okay? Ah, okay. It's okay. Is okay. And other, the cook. Other question? How do you swing? Swing is, is difficult for me. No practice. No, I go to bed. Uh, the beach. Ah, you only go to the only, beach to relax, to, to sleep in a hammock. And, and, and Not to only, sleep. Only, only, only on vacation. Ah, but ah. vacations are next door. Vacations are next door. Okay. Las vacaciones están cerca. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I, <laughs> desesperado sería I, desperate. Sería? I'm I, desperate. I, I, I am, am desperate. I am desperate. I for can't vacation. wait for vacations. Okay. I'm desperate for vacations. Okay. Very well. Excellent. And Claudia and Victor, did they practice? Yes. Ya practicó Claudia y Victor. Claudia. Mm. Did you ask the questions to Victor? A mí solo Hello? me preguntaron, teacher. Uh, oh, my God. Entonces, it is your time to ask some questions to Victor. Hello, Victor. Victor, hello. hello. Okay. Hello. Claudia has some questions for you. Okay. Okay, Claudia, hello. ask him. How do you drive, Victor? How do you drive, Victor? Yes, yes. I drive. I drive. Yes. I drive well, very well, or bad, or fast, or slowly. Yeah, for fast, for for okay. time. Uh -huh. Be careful with the police and the tickets that they give. Okay, <laughs> so I drive fast, Claudia. Yes, I drive fast, Claudia. I drive fast, Claudia. Okay, another question, Claudia. How do you swim? How do you swim, Victor? Swim. Yeah. Rarely. No, but Rarely. how do how do you swim? Not how often. Como nadas? Good, well, excellent, fast, slowly, bad. How do you swim? Como nada. Fast, slowly, well, or bad? Uh, fast. Okay, so I swim fast. He does everything fast. He drives fast, <laughs> he swims fast. fast. Claudia. <laughs> okay, so Victor, you have to say, I swim fast, Claudia. Okay, next question, Claudia. How do you play soccer, Victor? 
Eh, oh, yeah. Radio Cation. No, but how do you play soccer? ¿Cómo juega fútbol usted? ¿Cómo se considera que juega? Well, excellent, amazing, astonishing, brilliant, uh, fast. Brilliant. 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 Okay, excellent. So you say, I play brilliant, Claudia. He makes a lot of goals. Next question, Claudia. How do you speak English, Victor? Yes. How, how do you speak English? Es como hablas inglés. I speak English. Well, very well. Uh, more or less. Como more or less. Más o menos. Más o menos. Or, or acceptable. Mm -hmm. So I speak English. Más o menos, más o menos. More or less. More or less. Okay. okay, very well. And the last one, Claudia. Ah, you asked him all of the questions, right? Ya le hizo todas las preguntas, Claudia, a Victor. Bien, vamos a regresar. Eh, no todas. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, ask him the other ones. Teacher. Yes. Una, pre una preguntita. Yes, tell me, Abel. Con respecto a esa pregunta, how do you speak English? Eh, en, una en una ocasión yo escuché que la respuesta decía, I am speaking English a little. No, 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 escúcheme, cuando, fíjese bien, how do you speak English? Acá uh -huh. cuando le preguntan a usted, le comparto acá la pantalla para que vea. Cuando a usted le preguntan, por ejemplo, how do you speak English? ¿Cómo hablas tu inglés? ¿Qué tan bueno eres en inglés? Entonces usted contesta, I uh -huh. speak English. English well, okay, or other alternatives could be uh, pretty well, pretty well, okay, excellent, or satisfactory, satisfactory is no muy bien, verdad, pero en lo que usted, um, es, do you speak English? En referencia a lo que usted pregunta. Do you speak English? Uh -huh. Yes, I speak a little. Hablas inglés. Yes, I speak a little. Sí, hablo un poquito. Or, yes, I speak a lot. Sí, hablo mucho inglés. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero es diferente la pregunta. Okay, Do you speak sí, English? Sí, a little, un poquito, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Si alguien que, eh, un, un americano, le pregunta a usted en la playa, en estas vacations, ¿Do you speak English? A little, but just a little, a little, a little, ¿ok? Porque es right. un americano que le va a preguntar. Pero si le dice, how do you speak English? I speak English well, de acuerdo a las pruebas que se ha hecho. Pero si usted okay, le pregunta a un americano, hey, How do I speak English? Le está pidiendo su apreciación hacia usted. ¿Cómo domina el idioma? Entonces, él le va a decir, Ah, oh, you speak English well. Your English is good. Tu inglés es bueno. Ahí sería otro tipo de respuesta, ¿sí? Oh, okay. Or your English is okay or pretty well. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Thank you, My pleasure. My pleasure. Ok. Any other question? Hello. No more questions. Teacher. Yes, Dennis. Good question for you. Yes, tell me. How do you dance? Hmm. Mm. I think I dance well. Yeah, because I took some uh, dancing lessons. 
yeah, at the gym. So that's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because they, 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 the coach tests you, okay? Mm -hmm. is, is it for you? I think so, because when you practice, you have your teacher in front and then you follow the steps, okay? So no problem, I think. For me, I uh -huh. feel sorry. <laughs> you don't dance, you don't practice. I don't know. Mm. And and and, uh -huh. and 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 in a occasion, mm -hmm. uh, dance dance my dance with my knees. With your knees. Fifteen. Knees. In her sweet, you dance in with your knees 15. in her in her sweet fifteen. Sixteen. Sweet fifteen. Yes, and uh, yes. And what happened? ¿Y qué pasó? And, and, Everything uh, was okay? Todo estuvo very bien? good, yeah. Okay, yes. because you practice. Because you practice a lot. Okay, thank you. Now let's get back to the main session room, okay? okay. So we can continue practicing. Thank you for your active participation class. Okay. Okay, everyone is here. Now listen, <clears throat> one of you is going to be asking one question to the other one, okay? And here, I'm going to be writing your answers in case that we need to modify something in your answers, okay? So here we go. Let's begin. Ladies first, Jocelyn, ask one question to one of your classmates, okay? And he or she is going to answer according to the pattern that we have been using in class. Okay. Any question? Mm -hmm. It can be from, from the set of questions that I provided you, or you can create a question, okay? No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Jeremias? Jeremy? Okay, I am feel so sleepy. And Just then me. you say, I, how do you feel? How do you feel? And then you say, I feel sleepy. Sleepy. Sleepy? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Let me see. Yes. It is like this. Okay. Now, the next question, Jeremy, you ask the next question to another classmate. Okay. How do you drive, uh, Eduardo? Edward, how do you drive? I don't drive. Uh, no, no, so you say I drive bad. Bad, okay. Okay, Jeremy. According to the pattern, porque como debemos de, de adaptar nuestras respuestas al modelo que hemos estado trabajando. Okay, now Edward, you ask one question to another classmate. Eduardo, please ask one question. How do you feel with, with your work, Abel? How do you feel with your work, Abel? Abel? Knock, knock, Abel. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh -huh. Okay, your <laughs> classmate asked you a question. Repeat the question, Edward. How do you feel with your work, Abel? How do you feel with your work, Abel? That is an embarrassing question. <laughs> <laughs> because it's going Come. to be recorded. I feel. I feel. I feel good. <laughs> like the song, como en la canción. I, I feel good. <laughs> say, I feel really good, teacher. 
And, oh, wow, you should say, I feel really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> At work, teacher, uh, Edward. So you say, I uh, feel really, really good. We uh, what happened? Okay. I feel okay. really good, Edward. Yeah. Now okay. you have nice. asked one question to another classmate. How do you dance, Dennis? Dennis, how do you dance? Dennis. Dance. Uh huh. How do I dance? I dance. I dance a bad, bad. Bad. Uh, Abel. Yes. Abel. Okay. Yeah, because I dance have... bad. Okay. No problem. Yeah. And you need to practice more. Now, Dennis, you ask one question to another classmate. Who do, who do, whatever. Is anybody. And you may okay. ask, you may ask Claudia. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel, uh, think, Claudia? How do you think, Claudia? Think, How do... Claudia. No. Think, How do you think, Claudia? Think, no. Think es pensar. How do you think? How Pero do si you es... think? Okay. Claudia. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Okay, he asked you a question. How do you I'm think, about... Claudia? I feel bad. No, because you ask her, how do you think? Como piensa? I think. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm really bad. I think really bad. Really bad. Who asked you the question? Dennis, right? Dennis. Okay, now, Claudia, you ask one question to another classmate. Para Eliseo. Eliseo. How do you cook? How do you cook, Eliseo? Uh, I cook delicious. Okay, amazing. I cook delicious. What is the name? What is your name? A Claudia. <laughs> the last okay, name. I cook delicious, Claudia. Okay, great. And now you, Eliseo, ask one question to another classmate. Okay. You may ask a question to Claudia or somebody else. Okay. Eduardo, how do you swing, Eduardo? I swim, but... I, uh-huh. I swim. Uh, what is what is the name? Sure. Eliseo. And now I you swim, Ed but Eliseo. Okay, okay, great. Now you, Eduardo, ask one question to another classmate. Look at the names, one name that is not there. Uh, for Victor Reyes. Okay, Victor. The question How goes to you, Victor. How do you speak English, Victor? Uh, Ah, Lily. Okay, sure. No. How do you speak English? ¿Cómo considera usted que habla inglés, su nivel de inglés? I speak English. Um, I speak English. Well, um, eh, very well, fast, slowly. Slowly. 
I speak English slowly and you say the name of the other classmate, Edward, because he asked you, right? Edward. Okay. And now you, Victor, ask one question to another classmate. Yeah. How are you? How are you, Jocelyn? Jocelyn? I am very great, uh, Victor. I am great. Or I am really great. I am really great, Victor. Okay. Do you notice here? I feel sleepy, Jocelyn. I drive blood, Jeremy. I feel really good, Edward. I dance bad, Abel. I, th I think really bad, Dennis. I cook delicious, Claudia. I swim bad, Eliseo. I speak English slowly, Eduardo. I am really great, Victor. Okay, now I need you to practice reading this, okay, to the count of three, you are going to read from sentence number one to sentence number nine, okay? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I, I feel, feel I drive. I dream, but Jeremy. I feel really good, Eduardo. I dance, dance, Abel. I, I think really bad. bad things. I, I cook the issue, Claudia. I swim bad. I, I, I speak, speak it so only, only, Eduardo. I'm really great. I am really Victor. I am really great. Great. Slowly. Listen to the adjectives. Sleepy. Bad. Good, bad, really bad, delicious, bad, slowly, slowly, great, okay? Sleepy, bad, really good, bad, really bad, delicious, bad, slowly, great, okay? And then the verbs, feel, drive, feel, dance, think, cook, swim, Speak, um, I am, okay? And now class, as a previous advance of what we are going to be doing tomorrow, because I need you to try to be on time tomorrow, we're going to listen to the conversation, okay? We're going to be practicing with tomorrow here, okay, in the platform. And here we go. I'm going to play it for the people who were absent and didn't listen to this. That is about pronunciation, intonation with direct address. Notice that the uh, tone of the voice falls. Va hacia abajo el tono de la voz cuando llegamos hasta acá y nos vamos a dirigir hacia la persona a quien, eh, el, con quien estamos hablando. Okay, here we go. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. We're usually falling intonation and in pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. He looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, very well. So this is for the people who were absent yesterday, what we have been doing, okay? But for tomorrow, I'm going to play um, I am, okay, about fit and fitness here. Look at this, conversation, okay? I'm a really, a real fit freak. So listen to the conversation because this is, the advanced preview of what we're going to be practicing tomorrow. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. 
Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. So, class, if you notice, okay, what you have been asking and answering is the advanced preview for what you are going to be practicing tomorrow and what you are going to be working because tomorrow you're going to practice that conversation and you're going to create the conversation too. So um, it is almost time to say goodbye, but I want to ask you something, okay? If it is possible to activate your cameras and one more thing, class, listen. Uh, I don't know if you were working yesterday in the platform. Um, Victor, thank you for activating the camera. And, uh, or today, no sé si trabajaron ayer después de la clase en la plataforma, o ahora si lo han hecho y si hubo algún problema con algún ejercicio. No, no han tenido la oportunidad de ingresar a la plataforma y trabajar. Ok, únicamente los ejercicios que trabajamos el día de ayer. Yes, ok. Sí, recuerden, si eh, trabajan durante ahora unos 10 minutos y encuentran alguna dificultad, se comunican con el, con el departamento ahí, ¿verdad? el IT, el de apoyo, el técnico, para que les pueda apoyar y si no, lo resolvemos mañana acá. ¿De acuerdo? Uh, and in order to wrap up the class para cerrar la clase, vamos a hacer un repaso de lo que hemos trabajado en esta sesión. What did we practice today, class? ¿Qué practicamos ahora, clase? Intonation. Intonation, very well. Pronunciation and intonation. Okay. Did you practice speaking? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Practicaron speaking. Okay, thank you. Yes. Did you practice reading? Yes, yes. yes. Did you practice writing? Some of you were practicing writing, yeah? When you were answering the questions, I could see. Yes. Pueden ver algunos que estaban escribiendo, okay? Did you practice listening? Yes. Yes, okay? So you practice the four skills. Remember, try to read as much as possible. Traten de leer en voz alta porque de esa manera van a lograr confidence, seguridad en lo que van a decir y van a eh, su speech. Cuando ustedes hablen, se les va a escuchar más natural. ¿De acuerdo? Um, any specific question? ¿Alguna pregunta en específico sobre el tema que vimos ahora? No hay preguntas. Solamente recordarles, chicos, esto. Vean, en este ejemplo, Estamos utilizando I'm, I am, or I'm, porque el verbo principal de la pregunta es el verbo to be, are. Pero en los demás, como no aparece el verbo to be, ya no utilizamos el verbo to be. Entonces, si te preguntan, how do you feel? I feel sick. I feel really sick. Y luego menciona el nombre de la persona a quien le contesta. How do you cook? I cook fast. I cook slowly. I cook delicious. Okay. How do you think? I think really, really bad. No mencionamos el verbo to be. ¿Por qué? Porque vamos a contestar con el verbo que nos están preguntando. En este caso, en este ejemplo, contestamos con el verbo to be porque es el verbo con el que nos preguntaron. ¿Estamos claros hasta este momento? Sí. Yeah, ok, sí, porque escuchaba a algunos en, el, en los breakouts que utilizaban eh, I'm y el verbo, el otro verbo, no, solo es uno, ok, en este caso es porque es el verbo to be el verbo principal, ok. So, okay. No questions, is that clear? Yes, 
okay, class, I know that you're pretty tired. You wake up very early every morning. So thank you for joining to the class. And remember, try to work in the platform and see you tomorrow. Have a good night, sweet dreams. Have a, you know, an excellent, an excellent day tomorrow and see you tomorrow at eight. Blessings, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye teacher. Yeah, class. Have a good night. Thank you for joining to the class, okay? It's a pleasure. See you to next be class. You. See you next class, okay? Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, Abel. Bye-bye, Dennis. Good night, Dennis. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.